Tuberculosis is an infectious disease that mainly affects the poor, and those who have it are often stigmatized. The World Health Organization considers TB an epidemic. WHO is looking for an infusion of close to $3 billion for research into new drugs, new diagnostic tools, and better surveillance, so those with the disease can be treated. Since 1990, the death rate from TB has fallen by nearly 50 percent, but the WHO says more progress must be made. You cannot accept 4,400 people dying every day of a curable disease. Tuberculosis is 90 percent curable, unless it's a strain that is multi-drug resistant. Only about half of the people who suffer from that strain survive. Some doctors compare it to the deadly Ebola virus, only more easily transmitted. Multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, MDR-TB, is like Ebola with wings because it has the same risk of transmission to other people. It can be transmitted even yes, by coughing in the air, in, a, in the train, in the church, in a bar, in a hospital. And so it's, it's, a, it's a serious threat. Starting in January of 2016, the WHO will launch an effort to end TB. Those involved in this effort believe it can happen. That 47 percent drop in deaths from TB is from hard work. It didn't just kind of happen. Uh, and what it has told us is that indeed hard work does reflect itself in a drop in new infections and we need to do more in more places and sustain that effort everywhere. Goosby says the world is beginning to understand the severity of the TB threat. As it does, the WHO hopes support for efforts to end the disease will increase. <coughs> Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.